Yo bro, just wanted to show you something cool that I found in the woods. I just found a Christmas tree, right, in the middle of the woods. It's actually got little decorations on it. How cool is that? Got this little guy here. Even though it's not Christmas, I imagine this is here year round. Yeah, just this lovely little Christmas tree, man. Beautiful. But what do I want to talk about right now? Let's go over how to actually fix your sleep. Now, the common thing that I hear around people in my classes and things is like, oh, I'm so tired, man. Like, that's the excuse that people use. It's like, oh, I'm just tired. I didn't sleep well last night. Another thing, it's funny how not bad is a socially acceptable thing to say. <laughs> like, to the question, how are you? Oh, not bad. Well, that's not good, is it? But anyway, fixing your sleep. Now, there are tons of things out there that are, you know, you've got all your Andrew Huberman stuff, and I respect him a lot for all the scientific knowledge that he gives you. But realistically, to fix your sleep, there's two components. There's hell day, and then there's heaven day. <laughs> now, hell day is so let's say you're sleep deprived right let's say you go to bed at like 3 a.m and then wake up at like past 12 obviously you're going to need to completely recalibrate your system and that's going to be a shock to your system because it's like why the hell is this guy going to bed this time because it's not used to it because you've completely fried it so what you need to do is just go about your day you try to have some exercise in your day. You try to have just a completely knackering day. Go on a long walk. You don't even have to just run. Just go on a long walk. And then designate a bedtime, right? So let's say 11 p.m. And you want to wake up at like 9 a.m. We've got to start small with these things. We can't expect people to... Oh, <laughs> look at this another wonderful thing that I found. Right, it's a log... It's got like little bench cutouts. RNG. Oh, let's utilize it. Oh, wow. See, this is the beauty, man, of coming out. Like, if you come on long walks, you can find stuff. I didn't even know this existed, and it's like in my neighborhood. But anyway, as I was saying, you need to designate a bedtime. And people might think, oh, that's a bit childish. Why do I need to bedtime? Realistically, bro, you're not doing anything productive after like 6 p.m., are you? Like, you've eaten you're relaxing and all you're doing at 3 a.m is like playing games and then you just like fall asleep in your chair or you're scrolling and then you, your phone lands that you wake up with your phone on your chest like you just need to stop lying to yourself you're not doing anything important now this, so we have that now we've got to definitely wake up at 9 a.m even if we're tired and this is what the hell day is of course, you're going to have one day the way you're going to be completely more tired than usual because you've actually woken up early, set a bedtime. Your body's not used to it. So you're going to have an entire day where you're feeling a bit crap. But what's one day, a sacrifice in one day so that you can benefit from the rest of your life? Because then at the end of that very hellish day, you're going to be completely tired. You want to go to bed at like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. And then after that, you just need to keep consistent with it. That's all there is to it. All the friction is, is that one hellish day. Let me sit in there. The actual cooler. My ass doesn't even fit in it. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Nice and snug. You actually need to, you have that one hellish day and that's why people want, want to do that. They're happy having a hellish, mediocre life, but they can't have one hellish day where they're completely tired and they'll actually fix the sleep schedule. So that's stage one. You've got the hellish day, but then after that, you're gonna be tired and you're going to be, you know, consistently waking up. Obviously your body will have to get used to uh, waking up at that time. The best thing to do is wake up and go to bed at the same time every single day, because then your body will naturally wind down and your body will naturally wake you up. Because the worst thing is, is being in like deep sleep and you're like ding, 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 ding. You're chuffing an iPhone alarm that gives you trauma. But yeah, you just need to 
go to bed that's the best advice i can give there's also advice about your circadian rhythm getting sunlight into your eyes early in the morning personally i, th I mean it, it is good to do if you can do it but when i get up it's like pitch black so <laughs> it doesn't really benefit me but getting some kind of sunlight into your eyes and exercising every day you need to sort of like sleep is like a reward right at the end of a long day but if all you've done is like eating crap been playing stupid video games not doing anything productive you're not going to have good quality sleep and you're not going to be deserving of sleep and so we need to do some physically hard mental and physical work so that we're we've actually drained our batteries and then you know because imagine you're putting your phone on charge at like 74 percent. it's not going to take that long for it to get 100 and that's when you just are laying in bed trying to get to sleep and you're just wide awake well, let's get back on the move. What time are we on? 4.04. We're going to head to Karate in an hour and 30 minutes, so I should start heading back home. And we've hit 10,000 steps. Let's go. But that is, you've got the hellish day of your sleep, and then you've got the heavenly day because you've completely fixed your sleep schedule now if you're trying to benefit from it. Because sleep is the basis of health. You're not going to have, like, the healthiest guy in terms of nutrition and in exercise is not going to do well. Because you can't grow properly if you don't get enough sleep. Like, you can't build muscle if you don't get enough sleep. Seven to eight hours of sleep every night. And any gym bro <laughs> will tell you that he wants nothing more than to build more muscle. So, like, it's great at the end of a long day being able to sleep. I've been to the gym today and I've been on this long walk. I'm going to be absolutely knackered when I get in. So that is how to actually fix your sleep. And um, just a quick few things. Make sure you don't eat before you sleep. Make sure you don't drink too much water. Otherwise, you'll be pissing the sheets. You and your stinky, pissy bed sheets, man. And try and limit your screens. You don't need to... Don't have blue light, basically, in your face an hour before bed. Because that's going to keep you up. If you can put the... I know it's called night shift on iPhone where it makes like your screen orange and it's like better. It doesn't mess up with like your circadian rhythm and all that thinking that it's like daytime. But yeah, the main thing is have a hellish day so you can have a beautiful life. And then you completely fix your sleep schedule and you're already going to be ahead of all of those Jefferies that are just sleep deprived and complain. And then you're on the way to greatness. So I hope you've enjoyed this very short guide. And yeah, sweet dreams, bro. Mwah.